At this time, we invite the children to come forward. And I have a couple of helpers this morning. So, Addie and Kylie, I'm going to ask you to help me. But first, I want to say welcome to you and welcome to our friends watching from home. So today, I'm going to ask you to help me act out the gospel lesson. And Pastor is going to help me, and my friend Rachel is going to help me. So, today's story is about going out on the lake in a boat. So we need a pretend boat, all right? And we're going to make that the pretend boat. So, Addie and Kylie, would you get in the pretend boat, please? Come on up. In you go. There we go. Have a seat in the boat. Okay. All right. We're good. And now, I think we're ready. We're ready to tell our story. Last time, Peter shouted, pull. Oh, we need something. We need our nets. We're out in the boat fishing. Andrew, James, and John pulled in their fishing nets. So pull them in. Is there anything in there, Kylie and Addie? Uh, Nothing. Nothing. They slumped over in their boat. Slump over in your boat. There we go. They fished all night, but caught no fish. Slowly, they rowed back to shore. Can you row back to shore? Row that boat back to shore. They felt disappointed, tired, and hungry. Jesus walked up to them and got into the boat. People had gathered on the beach to hear Jesus teach. So as they floated out into the water, Jesus said, Peter, try your nets one more time. Teacher, Peter groaned as they lowered the nets out. Go ahead, throw them out there a little bit more. There are no fish here. Peter was a fisherman. He knew what he was doing. But you know what? Peter felt a tug and another The fishermen struggled to pull in their nets. Flopping fish came into their boat. Impossible, yelled James. A miracle, yelled Andrew. Jesus filled our nets with fish, yelled John. Peter fell to his knees and whispered, Leave me alone, Jesus. I don't deserve this miracle from God. Don't be afraid, Jesus comforted. God's miracles are for everyone. Follow me. We won't catch any more fish. We'll catch people. Peter dropped the nets, still wiggling with fish, and they left their boats and followed Jesus. You see, the disciples were invited to follow Jesus now and catch people instead of fish. And that meant that we have the opportunity to invite others, just as the disciples did, to come and learn more about God. So you see, we're still catching people today. I'd like to close with a word of prayer, and I need your help. We're going to make it a response of prayer. So I'm going to say something, and at the point where I say, we say, then you say, thanks be to God. Can you help me with that? Let's practice. We say... Thanks be to God. And you can all help with that too. All right, so let us pray. Dear God, for these wonderful children and those who brought them here, we say thanks thanks be be to to God. God. For all your Bible stories that teach us so much, we say thanks Thanks be be to to God. God. For the courage to catch people and share your love, we say thanks thanks be be to to God. God. And together we say amen. Amen. Thank you, friends, for helping. Thank you to all my helpers today. Great job.